What's up, guys? Darn Botch here, and welcome back to Flight Sim, my favorite places to fly world tour. This is day 12 in Africa. Now, I have the map zoomed out here for a reason. So, I have entered some coordinates here. You can grab those yourself. If you guys really want to fly to where we're going, you can oh, come down to this airport right here. The code is going to be H-A-M-K. In the interest of the video and time, I am, of course, not going to do that. I am going to launch myself from right where I want to go in my beautiful TBM 930 here. But you can make this flight VFR if you want. It wouldn't be too long. I would probably take something like the TBM or another turboprop so that you have some decent travel speed. Because we're going to the uh, Danakil Depression, which is a, probably one of the more interesting places that we will do all year on Favorite Places to Fly World Tour. Uh, and it's also time to switch the weather up. That was an odd kick sideways. So, what is this depression? Well, it is, like I said, very interesting. It's a plane approximately 200 kilometers by 50 kilometers. And <clears throat> it's in the north, a far region of Ethiopia. So, it is one of the lowest places on Earth at 100 meters. That's 330 feet below sea level. So, this is caused by tectonic drift the plains of Africa and Asia pulling apart and this is just a super interesting place because it's it's bordered by two volcano um, you have a river here that never reaches the Indian Sea the Awash River it dries up in a chain of salt lakes it's just <clears throat> a truly inhospitable place we've actually scientists have actually been using it to study the conditions upon which or in which life might first form on other planets so like i said a super interesting place almost no rain for most of the year and interestingly enough this is also the area referred to as the cradle of humanity if you've ever heard of lucy the australopithecus fossil that's been dated to back to about 3.2 million years old yeah she, lucy was found around here so a lot of scientists have the theory that human life may first have evolved in this area and there's also a hypersaline lake that was created in january 2005 following an earthquake here i'm not going to try to say the name but it has a salinity of 43 percent making it the saltiest water water body on earth so crazy extreme environments just absolutely a crazy place to come see um just a short one today, but, I mean, you've got sulfur springs, you've got extremophilic microbes here in those sulfur springs, again, leading scientists to study this for how life might arise on other planets. There's just a lot of really unique aspects to this, and it's a very striking kind of landscape. I will say that uh, the game is not quite doing it justice. Um... If you look up pictures of it, it is a little bit more vibrant in color around this main lake here. But still, why are my landing gear coming down? Stop that. Just a place that I want you guys to know about because I'm fascinated by things like this. Uh, I actually have a SpaceX launch going on my phone right now because AX-1 is launching a day. So this kind of thing related to life and other planets and study like that fascinates me and I thought I would just share that with you guys so apparently we have a never-ending landing gear warning going on I'm not sure what that's about anyways if you guys found this useful helpful hey like subscribe it really helps channel out if you're here to the end well launch time is key on YouTube so thank you my name is Dinebot and I will see you guys next time after I figure out why my landing gear thinks it needs to constantly be pestering bye <laughs>